everyone. I am Gabriele. Welcome to my channel. Now you have two bubbles over there, so probably it's two Dinosuchus, but they are fast, so it's a high chance that they are not at 100% because you wouldn't dare to go uh, as fast. Now two Dinos are approaching this uh, side too. Uh, it's very risky for me to move. I won't move unless any of them is going to approach me. I won't start any fight because I do not want to lure the attention of anybody. I am not at the bottom of the river. I'm just keeping an eye on one of them that just passed by me, alright. One one passed, that's that's good. And now I have to wait for the other one. These two were coming from that way to the other way. And at the same time two other dinos. I assume they were dinos were uh, approaching this side so I have to uh, pay extra attention in this case sometimes standing still by the river bank under water might be uh, the best bet you just stand still and do not move the night vision uh, range is not uh, uh, that good for dinosuchus but y you have uh, pretty much a good slash yeah not not a good vision underwater either so if you do not have that good vision underwater uh, I mean uh, you stand good chances at uh, not being seen by other dinos if you stand still now mind it I press Q I am pressing Q so I get to see everyone that is moving around me from a farther away range because I'm using underwater sonar it's uh, uh, just pressing Q underwater and uh, you see bubbles go getting out of your nostrils now I don't I don't I should see some bubbles I guess or probably I'm too close to the water surface so I don't see them but uh, this position is just one of the best position you can uh, have with your Dinosuchus while uh, in a trafficked area this is a trafficked area is the Cut River so I'm relying on uh, the very bad vision at night of other dinos and uh, on the riverbank I'm by the riverbank I'm not moving I'm not moving I'm just uh, waiting for uh, uh, a good moment before moving again uh, I, I want to check that side and uh, then if I have to engage with another dinosaur because I think I can because uh, I recently came out of a fight versus one dinosaur and uh, and I need some time to fully heal up now if I manage to get into another fight with another Dinosuchus I will show you how you can face tank most of you will think alright you just face tank you just bite yeah it's true the first one who bites usually has the upper hand now you want to out bite slightly left out bite slightly right if you don't do any of this uh, the other player that is biting uh, in al alternating bite alt bite left alt bite right and so on switching position slightly slightly I mean mind it you always want to bite the head but if you manage to bite both head and body with your uh, bite it's extra damage you inflict biting multiple areas will inflict more damage at least it was so months ago but I think it is still valid because I've won a couple of fights just by uh, biting just by using alt bite like uh, left and right left and right without changing too much my position it is true that it might affect your uh, uh, let me move now I wanna uh, actually let, let's see I have uh, I don't need food so I I will get into this fight uh, just to show you in this video but uh, if I can if I can I have to wear my opponent in this case I have to wear my opponent and because I'm chasing probably another hundred percent Dinosuchus so to say nobody is writing anything in chat if I'm chasing another big Dinosuchus I wanna make sure I have full stamina if the other Dinosuchus decides to run away again in the previous video I've shown you how to um, how to actually uh, follow or run away from a Dinosuchus in that case I was chasing after another Dino most case scenario you will see me running away from another Dino from another Dinosuchus it depends it depends now because I'm chasing the other one the one that passed by me earlier on I wanna be 
I wanna be uh, extra cautious. I wanna be extra cautious. So I will use uh, uh, underwater sonar whenever possible. I hear another dino somewhere. I'm not sure where. I'm using underwater sonar, by the way. And uh, I don't hear anyone. All right, I, ca I can keep moving. Oxygen is not a problem because uh, I have about 10 minutes, if I mistake not, of oxygen. It's a lot. It is a lot. It's, it's good. I mean, it must be a lot. You are a semi-aquatic animal and uh, you deserve to have a ton of oxygen. Now, I have wasted enough stamina, honestly. I have wasted enough stamina. Um, do I want to be seen? Do I want to be seen? Yes, I want to be seen. If it's just one Dinosuchus, a one versus one, I can do. A two versus one, I cannot do that fight. I cannot do that fight. So I'm moving. Uh, every uh, Dinosuchus that is standing idle by can see me. Uh, this is not good. You want to walk on the bottom of the river. You want to do the hippo walk most of the times because. Uh, uh, other players will not notice you. The main gameplay is you do not give any uh, advantage or attack position to your opponent. If you give uh, some good advantages to your opponent, such as what I'm doing now, I mean, uh, this is not a good survival mode, a good survival, uh, yeah, a good survival way for Dinosuchus. You wanna walk on the bottom mainly. You want to stop very often to check your surroundings at least if something is uh, around you with underwater sonar so you increment the range at which you see anything moving in water uh, I don't see anything, I don't see anything, alright you know what, I'm gonna uh, rush a bit I'm gonna rush a bit this is not hippo walk, this is just plain swimming it consumes a ton of stamina Hippo walk consumes a lot less stamina for uh, the speed you have for the mm, area that you cover while hippo walking and stamina consuming. Uh, at least uh, under my point of view, probably wrong, but uh, again, uh, it's it's good. Hippo walk is there; it is good. It, it does have that use to move fast not as fast as when you are swimming fast but you are moving fast and uh, you are consuming very little stamina compared to the speed you have compared to when you swim fast okay uh, that dinosuchus must be standing idle by probably i already passed that dino they do not want to fight most people do not want to fight with dinosuchus uh, dino versus dino the other type of gameplay you can have above all solo gameplay above all solo gameplay is just uh, you s you stand still in one area where people wait the river and that's it you might wait 10 minutes or uh, 20 minutes or 40 minutes it depends it's uh, it's you are a fisher so to say you are fishing for players to wait your uh, to wait your spot so to say they cross your river they belong to you i mean kind of they, they, they get destroyed by your dinosuchus it's a death sentence for most playables but stegosaurus come on you need to have a nemesis what about stegosaurus stegosaurus already has eutraptors um even uh, uh dinosuchus if by the riverbank stegosaurus is ultra boring compared to the type of interaction you can have with Dinosuchus at least uh, you can uh, have you can rely on the ambush factor in water against the other terrestrials Stegosaurus doesn't have that you are big you cannot hide you are uh, super slow uh, you are growing in five hours with a perfect diet such as uh, with uh, um, Dinosuchus and uh, th th that's pretty much it you hide and then if you're lucky at 100% someone will want to play with you I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because uh, who does actually want to engage with a Stegosaurus once the Stegosaurus is at 100% if you want to survive nobody nobody I mean and you are super slow you cannot run after anything you cannot do anything yes you can bodyguard you might say yeah, but even after that, you can wait two minutes. I mean, I usually wait 60 seconds, 30 seconds with Stegosaurus, and then I move somewhere else. Because, come on, 
they deserve to eat and even if they don't deserve to eat in your opinion well uh, good luck by staying there there, there is nothing uh, you can do there is nothing uh, you can do to destroy anything if they do not engage with you in a fight with Stegosaurus because you are super slow moving Dinosuchus instead is kind of different it relies on ambush it relies on uh, passers by more than Stegosaurus it's true Stegosaurus is herbivore but they can be aggressive they can be aggressive so so far very little luck by the way anyway anyway uh, I will show you now I will be able to show it to you in a video sooner or later but the trick is this as soon as you get in the right position against the other Dinosuchus face tank you are locked face versus face you just you just have to bite both left a bit a bit left a bit right a bit left a bit right a bit I mean, I mean a bit right a bit left you it's true that you change position by doing so so the, the other thing you can do is just moving your mouse your camera you are going to bite roughly in that direction but if you do out bite and you manage to hit two places at the same time you inflict more damage so it's worth trying i think it's it's still a thing it's still working it might you might need a lot of stamina in order to do this because uh, what if uh, uh, the other player is biting your head and you can only bite their tail so that's why you need a lot of stamina when you try when you do this out bite left out bite right because what if you get uh, uh, a wrong position I mean uh, this is at the cost of the good position you find yourself in but both of you in a face tank situation both of you are in a good position uh, you are relying more on outbite and on biting uh, multiple areas had included possibly in order to inflict more damage than the other player that is just biting in front of you nothing else one Two, you are not biting multiple areas as if uh, uh, you use a bite that you move your dinosaur. Well, uh, that's all for today. Hopefully, I will manage to make a video with that, with me winning, because otherwise uh, I cannot demonstrate it to you. Thank you all so much for watching. Consider subscribing my channel and have a great day. Bye bye.